This is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be doing a little lab test. I was curious to know if you could manually remove a snapshot from a virtual machine. So today I'll be uh, using my lab vSphere ESXi 5.5, and I've got a virtual machine named XP Service Pack 3. So it's a legacy system, and let's take a look, see how easy it is. As you can tell, there's uh, very few things on my server. So we'll be looking at this XP Service Pack 3 virtual machine. So first off, let's orient ourselves. You'll notice in the snapshot box that I have a snapshot called test. Now you'll notice that this corresponds to the data store browser. You'll notice that there is a the name of the virtual machine there with a dash, a bunch of zeros and a one. Now that is my snapshot. It's also combined with another file, just snapshot three in this case. So those two files I'll be deleting. But before you do, Let's take a look at how we did this. So first thing first, you need to identify which data store contains your virtual machine. You need to locate the name of your virtual machine, the file that ends with VMX. Go ahead and copy that locally, open it up. In my case, I renamed it RTF so I can open it in WordPad. And I looked through it and I'm looking for a SCSI 0 colon 0 or an IDE 0 colon 0. You'll see in my example to the right that mine has the virtual machine, a dash, a bunch of zeros, looks like five zeros, and a one. So that is the name of my snapshot, and I simply need to remove the dash, the zeros, and the one. And by doing so, I'll end up with the name of my virtual machine, dot vmdk. And I'm pointing at that point immediately to the correct file, and no longer to the snapshot. So it's pretty simple, without that reference, inside of the vmx file, it will point directly back to my virtual machine name dot vmdk instead of the one with the dash a bunch of zeros and a one so I'm highlighting here the two files that I'll be able to remove once you've removed the dash the zeros and the one as in my example you want to resave the file locally and then transfer it back to the server now you might be wondering what would happen if we simply took the snapshot out so if we just deleted those two snapshot files that I indicated in the previous slide this is the error message that was correspond to that removal. So by changing the configuration file, that allows us to not have this problem. Once you've transferred over your VMX file back to the server, your VM should start. Now remember, anything that was done to the VM after the snapshot will be lost. So if you added things or modified things, they're gone. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope that you'll come and visit us and listen to our podcasts on www.ctobob.com. Thanks for listening.